hey guys, I'd like to start us off by get, taking a look at uh, the college football for this week, week 12, uh, and start things off by saying, have you seen the CFP rankings yet? I actually have not. So uh, at number one, I don't think really a surprise to anyone, Mississippi State staying at number one. Number two, Oregon. Oregon comes in at number two, pushing Florida State down to number three and bumping all the way up to number four, TCU. Sitting on the bumble, on the, on the bumble, <laughs> sitting on the bubble in five, you have uh, Alabama and ASU making their way up to the bubble yeah. position at number six. So a lot of juggling around. I've heard a lot of interesting stories. First off, what do you guys think about the Ducks pushing an undefeated Florida down to number three? Um, I don't know. I I was re- I was reading some coverage and watching some things about you know these you know part of the rankings and they were primarily talking about FSU and part of me agrees with what the guy I can't remember his name is an ESPN correspondent for college football, uh, but I part of me agrees that. You know, he was talking about he put his ranking of FSU way lower. He had him in seven uh, than what, you know, the official rankings are. Whoa. So, and the reason the reason he gave, and a part of, me, part of me does agree with this, is that the reason why he had him so low is Jameis Winston is kind of a, uh, they're an, an okay squad. They just keep winning because he's a one to two trick pony. You know, that whole squad is. Which part of me is like, yeah, they have a way of winning, but at the end of the day, if you keep winning, that's what matters. If your trick works, why stop? So I don't know if I'd put them that low, but they'll they'll remain in the top four. Although I think TCU will drop out and Alabama will go in. I think Alabama will take over that fourth spot. Well, Al- Alabama's fate's in yeah. their own hands. Yeah, I think Alabama moves into that fourth spot too. And – I could see uh, Oregon being ranked higher than uh, Florida State very easily, because uh, for one, yeah, I, I think I think what what the guy that Turtles listening to may have been trying to get at is that they're not really playing up to that team's not really playing up to their potential. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, right. They're just kind of leaning on on Jameson, who can just beast everybody at that level. But here's the thing, though. If you, you know, I, I, I put it on their schedules. If you look at Florida State, and, you know, this is no not to, uh, to Florida State, but, you know, what, that's the ACC, am I correct? Yeah. So it's not a very strong football conference, in my opinion, especially this year. So you, know, you look at the Florida State wins. Oklahoma State, you know, that's early off in the season. Okay. Citadel, whoa. I'm not, you know, whoa. Yeah, right. All right. Clemson. What do we got? I mean, Cle- isn't that one of the games? Isn't that one of the games he missed? You know what I mean? That was probably like one of the biggest opponents. And I think the, the second stringer guy won that. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Um, You know, because that was a big game for them. Yeah, uh, North Carolina State, you know, okay. Wake Forest, you know, these are all wins and stuff. But I mean, okay, the Notre Dame game, that's a real opponent. Beating right. up on Syracuse, that's, I'm not impressed. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, they beat Louisville. Louisville, uh, I'm more interested in seeing Patino and right. his boys than I am the football team. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Virginia, I mean, okay, but okay. They're not, they're not great. Right. You know, and now they got Miami coming up. Miami's not that phenomenal. You know what I mean? Then you got Boston College and then Florida. Whereas Oregon, you know, they had to play teams like, what, Michigan State, although it was early in the season. They had to play uh, UCLA. You know what I'm saying? They had to play Stanford. They had to really fight their way to get to where they are right now. So that that would be my reasoning for putting them higher than Florida State. Yeah. Undefeated uh, schedule. Totally agree. I mean, strength of schedule is clearly uh, a major factor here. Just take a look. You don't have to look any further than your number four TCU. Um, you know, TCU in their conference is actually in second place. They're second to Baylor because Baylor is their only loss for the year. But Baylor is sitting further down the list. I don't. I think they're in, oh gosh, I want to say 12 or 13 or something, something around those lines. I don't have it in front of me. 
But um, yeah, you don't have to look any further than that to just find out how strength of schedule factors in. Uh, clearly, one thing is certain. If Alabama wants to get in the top four at the end of the year, this next week is a must win for them. They've got Mississippi State. So let's talk about the games of the week and let's make our predictions for this week. We actually have four great games, guys. Four fantastic games with implications. Some are just bowl implications, but some could, could be implications to get into the final four. Uh, let's start with Clemson. I'm um, using CFP rankings now. So Clemson 19 at Georgia Tech 22. Turtle, why don't you kick us off for the first one? Clemson. I don't have a reason, just Clemson. I love it. I'm Clemson too, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be a really close game. These two teams should match up nicely. Uh, and I'm sort of edging towards Clemson, so I'll make it, uh, I'll make it unanimous on that one. Uh, more interesting game coming up next. Nebraska sitting at 16 at Wisconsin, 20. Constant, what do you think about this one? Um, wow. That's going to be a good game. Big 10 ball. I, I, got, I think Nebraska is going to edge them out. You got Nebraska I on this? I think Nebraska's just bigger up front. Yeah, I think they're a little bit bigger up front on the, on the lines, and I think they're just going to edge them out. It's going to be close, though. Right on. Uh, I'm actually going to go Wisconsin on this one. I think, uh, I think you're right. I think this is going to be a close game. Uh, but Wisconsin's shown me a lot more offense, so I'm going to take Wisconsin uh, in this one. Turtle? Growing up in Colorado, you always heard about Nebraska and the Cornhuskers and how they were always an elite squad. Well, they ain't so elite. And I've always hated them. And I <laughs> cheese curds. So y'all uh -huh. know I'm going with Wisconsin. You're going to take Wisconsin on this one? All right. All right. I got to go with cheese. There Going you go. The cheese. cheese. Cheese over corn. I like it. Uh, the third game we've got for today is Auburn at nine. And they're in Georgia uh, playing the number 15 team, Georgia. Uh, I'll go ahead and go first on this one, guys. Uh, this is a coin flip of a game. Uh, and so I flipped it seven times, and it came up Auburn four times. I'm going Auburn. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Now, I have friends who are huge Auburn supporters, and they're going to hate me when I say this, but I got to go with Georgia. Now, keep in mind, you know, for the people out there who, one, have actively been listening to this, they know that I'm shit at picking, so, two, you know, <laughs> I don't really follow college football. Uh, uh, and three, at the end of the day, I really don't care, but I do like, Georgia over, uh, is it Georgia or Georgia State? Georgia. It's Georgia. Okay. Georgia over Auburn. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Georgia. I, I like Auburn, but uh, Georgia's getting Gurley back. Yes. And I think he's going to, I think he, uh, you know, ha I think he's just like one of those caged animals ready to bust out of the cage. And so now he's been sprung free and like he's missed some games. And if the Heisman was even close to being on his mind and he may want to do something to get his name back in that on that list. Don't you forget about me type of game. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go with Georgia. Yeah, for sure. Talking about must wins, man. This last game is the is the must win of the year. Uh, Mississippi State undefeated sitting in the number one spot. Alabama with that one loss just now sitting out of the top four and fifth. This is a huge one. Huge turtle. How do you how do you lay this one down? As I said when we first started this, I have a feeling Alabama's going to get into the top four, and I think this is how they're going to get it. They're going to take down number one. Mississippi State is tough. It's going to be a hell of a game, and I have a feeling it's going to be super high scoring. But I, I just I I think Alabama's going to roll the shit out of some tide. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think they're going to they're going to they're going to win. They're going to give them their first loss. Lay it on us, uh, for me. I I think that uh, I, I too think that uh, Alabama is going to get this one. I, I, if I'm correct, Mississippi State doesn't do well against Alabama in general. So in Alabama, like I, I'm a turtle, like I thought Alabama would be in the top four, and this is like they're knocking on the door. So uh, I think Dak and the guys are going to see that loss because Roll Tide is just going to come in like thirsty. Yeah, I'm 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 with you guys 100% on that. Uh, Tide is going to roll this one. You're right, Mississippi State, not a great uh, track record against Alabama. You're in Alabama, and if ever they had a must win, this is it. Their fate is in their own hands. If Alabama beats an undefeated number one, they're assured, unless they just crap the bed in the last two games of the year, 
they're assured a top four spot. So I think Alabama needs this. Cool. Alabama's going to go get this. Uh, but, you know, as, as smart as we all think we are, last week we all took a bath. Well, I say we all took a bath. Uh, if you take a look at last week, I didn't get anything right. And Constant, you only got one right. And Turtle took the week with two right. And the, deci- and the difference maker was his damn ASU pick. <laughs> Congratulations, Turtle. Hey, yeah. You know... I'm the biggest college football fan there is, so of course I'm I'm winning. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too funny. All you right. Know, I said you're lucky we're not making curling picks because you know I'm a master at everything. Yeah, don't get me started. When you guys are ready you to go curl, it. man, we'll go down to the rink and we'll get some curling on. No. Constant, we're gonna get you I'm out not, there. I'm not. Listen, I still have full points left in my life. I'm not.